supporting for the Democratic Alliance. They've said this publicly that uh, uh, this is an epoch-making uh, Congress and from here the DA has got a, a lot of work to do ahead of it um, going to the local government elections and, 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 and therefore the announcement of the leadership today is really going to be extremely significant even just in terms of uh, changing the perceptions about the DA and also helping it to make inroads to communities that it has been struggling before to really be able to reach. Yeah. Well, of course, that was Tammy Dixon, our SABC reporter, of course, uh, coming to us from Port Elizabeth. Tammy, you know, we wanted to know more about, um, you know, your conversation with, of course, Mbalin Tuli that we're expecting from the former DA uh, youth leader. I mean, if there's one thing that is actually, uh, you, know, in, you know, coincides with the former and outgoing um, DA leader, Helen Zilla, that she was once a DA leader. But what, what do you think her sentiments are at the moment? That's exactly that. What that's exactly what we're going to find out um, from from our discussions with Mbaling Tuli, who now joins us here on the set. Um, she is one of the um, growing young female leaders within the Democratic Alliance. I think um, many young people are there associate uh, and, um, um, with with young leaders like themselves, and it's going to be interesting um, to hear Mbali as we welcome you here on the set. Really, the the centrality of young people within the DA. Um, at this particular point in its history? Um, I think you're definitely right. There's a, a big surge of young people taking their space in the DA, and I think that that's indicative of what we need to do externally as well. I think whoever becomes the new leader is going to have to very specifically focus on young people in this country, just because by simple numbers we make up the most of the electorate, but more importantly because we need new dynamism and we need a new direction for the party, and I think right. that that next leader is going to have to really uh, chart that path um, of getting new young right. voters. Is it, is it the new frontier for the DA in terms of its growth? Because, I mean, many people have been saying this, that the DA has actually reached a limit or rather a ceiling in terms of growing within the traditional communities mm. of white people and colored people. And now its new focus uh, would have to be within the black communities and, and in particular among young black people. I think it's amongst young people uh, across the board, whether black or any other race. Um, and I think what's exciting about young people is that they really do have more of a, a vision for the future that they want rather than a nostalgia for the past or uh, in any way sort of tied to any um, political parties that are really talking about the past. And so the DA is right. definitely going to have to uh, strategize in getting that young vote. Uh, especially now while they're young so that they can be people that grow up and become loyal to the party. Right. Um, but I'd also say, you know, rural voters, mm. whether young or old, are also uh, something that we need to really start mm. uh, tackling as a democratic alliance because I think we've reached a ceiling right. in terms of the urban votes. That's correct. Um, 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 the DA has been raving about the victory of DASO, um, the student organization aligned to the Democratic Alliance at the University of Forte here in the Eastern Cape, having won the SRC elections there uh, in an area that is uh, traditionally known to be the stronghold of the of the African National Congress, um, uh, is that the sign of uh, the things that are likely to come? As, you, as 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 I understand that you want to get into that market of young people. Most definitely, um, we've been having uh, victories at universities for a while now. You know, we've been at UCT, we've been at NNMU for two terms, um, and now with Forte, I think you're right. This is a big uh, shift in the way that voters are voting uh, at universities and uh, as young people, and I think that this really shows that the DA can uh, tap into those voters if you're speaking to them. And what I like about young people is that you can't really, um, you, oh, you can't lie to them because they really call you out on it. So it's going to make, make sure that the party also raises its game and hopefully make sure that other political parties raise their game. Uh, so I think it's great and I think that uh, it's where we need to focus. But I also think that there's definitely a shift there that we can take advantage of. Right. Now, in the next 20 minutes or so, the Democratic Alliance is going to announce the much-anticipated results about um, who is going to lead the Democratic Alliance <laughs> going forward. And we do know that, obviously, it's going to be a black leader whichever way it goes. Um, how, how important is this as far as you are concerned? I think it's going to probably be the most important thing that the party does for the next five to ten years um, because we've never had a black leader before and whoever it is 
uh, is going to be tasked, unfortunately, with a huge burden of being that representative, I think, by um, people externally. Their greatest challenge is going to have to be to be somebody seen to speak for all South Africans and not just black South Africans or black people in the DA. Um, and so uh, that's going to be momentous. But I think even for us as a party, it really gives us an opportunity to redefine who we are to the public and re um, set the stage of what it is that our identity is and how we want to really connect with uh, voters. And I think that that's got everyone excited in the DA because finally we can really get people to listen to us on our own terms rather than associating us with whatever racial notions they yeah, may have yeah. had before. Yeah, it's important that, yeah, rather very interesting that you mentioned that because, I mean, the, 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 there's, a, there's a controversy that is, uh, you know, uh, ravaging uh, the social media right now by the comments that were made at the Congress here about Helen Zille being likened to um, Hendrik Verwood, whom we all know, especially as black people, um, how his policies actually decimated uh, the lives of black people as, and, and young people in the country. How are you guys feeling about this? Henry Favard was possibly the worst thing to happen to South Africa. He was a racist, bully, um, and just the worst kind of human being, I think, for what he did to this country and the legacy that he has left so many years on that we're still fighting. Um, I obviously can't speak for the people that made those comments, um, and I think that uh, it's up to them to try and explain exactly what it is that they meant. But is but it I a can... comment to say Helen Zilli is, like, uh, is, like, is, is as smart as Helen, as Henry Favard? Is that a comment? I have or rather, no idea. is that a compliment, rather? I have no idea how smart Henry Ford was. All I know is that he was able to implement policies that uh, really were bad for people in this country. I think that Helen Zilla is not like him in any way, um, and that she has left the legacy of having built this country and having been a true South African. And so I wouldn't have likened them. Um, but as I say, only the person who spoke those words can really speak for themselves right, and explain right, their own right, words um, yeah. and what they meant. What, what role do you think that Lindy Omazubu would have played in the DA at this really particular point? Um, um, she, she, she's made it known that she's not interested in the leadership position. Um, well, she's not interested for now. Yeah. I think that Lindy was presented with an excellent opportunity to uh, really expand herself and become a better leader. And I have no doubt that she's going to come back to South Africa and to the DA. Um, and when she does, I'm confident that she'll be able to take part in the leadership of this uh, party and take part of the leadership of South Africa and take us to wherever right. we need to go. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank I appreciate you. it. All right. That's Mbali Ntuli, uh, one of uh, the really um, um, emerging young female leaders within the Democratic Alliance. With that, let's go back to the studio in Johannesburg.